Welcome to this Song Surgeon video tip. In this week's edition, we're going to look at the recording function found in Song Surgeon Pro. Let's open it up and take a look at what's here. So you have the ability here to record to a new file, which is to say it would open a second instance of Song Surgeon, or you can set it to current file, and that's usually what I do. Uh, and then you can select where you want it to be inserted, beginning, current, and specified time. Now these things really don't apply if the screen is empty and nothing is open, but if you have a song open and you want to insert some audio before a song, for instance if you're a teacher and you want to insert some instructions before the lesson, you can easily do that. You can insert something at a specified time or even at the end. And then if we move on down here and we look at the recording controls. They're very basic and simple ones. Start, pause, and stop. And then once we've selected and started, we go to this next set of menus and I'll show you this once we record. And then down here at the bottom, recording devices and recording level. Now let's take a look at this because this is probably the most crucial part of the setup here. Uh, if you select recording devices, it opens this screen which is part of your standard Windows or Mac operating system and when you do that at least here as we're looking at the Windows site if you go to recording you can see it lists the recording options you have and here is where you need to be clear about what you're doing for instance in this case I have a stereo mix well this is for the internal system audio. So if I wanted to record whatever I heard on my computer, then I would select this. I also have an integrated microphone array, which is a little microphone that's integrated into my screen, and that's what I'm currently using now. But oftentimes when I record, I use an external mic because I think I get better quality. And I've just plugged it in, and you can see that it pops up here. So the one thing I want to point out to you, is that if you're going to use an external microphone and you've got several mics that are enabled and you can see that these are because you can see the levels bouncing up and down on both of these you need to select one that you're going to use and set it as a default and if I right click I can set as default device now I'm not going to do this because if I do it I'll silence the recording that I'm making right now. I'll silence the audio in this video and I don't want to do that. But what I would do is I would set this as a default device and then I would go down to the integrated microphone array which is what I'm currently using to make this recording with. I would right click it and I would disable it. So it's important here to note that when you're recording that you have only one microphone enabled and the others disabled because if you don't do that you get static and feedback and the audio just doesn't sound good at all and then of course once you've done this when you're done recording you probably want to go back and re-enable anything that you've disabled so this is probably the biggest trick if you want to call it that that there is to using the recording function in Song Surgeon so once you've selected your microphone you select OK and then you essentially hit the start button and right now the audio that you hear me speaking is the audio that's being recorded and when we get to a point that we'd like to finish it we hit the stop button and then what it asks us down here is in this next set of controls do you want to preview it and if we click that we could hear it again Do we want to start over which essentially means do you want to discard it or do you want to keep it I'm gonna select keep and it's telling me it will be inserted at the beginning of the song and you can see on the screen now that this indeed has been recorded and it appears in song search and let's go ahead and play it back it should sound similar to what you've heard me say already because we recorded some of this same video audio and right now the audio that you hear me speaking is the audio that's being recorded so there you go. You can hear that indeed this is the same audio that I was talking with you about before. So with that we'll conclude and I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.